Hello, welcome to this presentation about Open PTMP Analysis 2D and 3D. My name is Marina Trevisoli and I will guide you through the steps of this tutorial. So, in order to start with setting up a model with MP analysis, we use this open PT case here as reference for our site. So, in this case, uh, you can see that we have three surfaces used and two layers, so the rock and hard rock material. We also have this uh, fault uh, included in the model, and the fault is aligned to the discontinued material set as weak rock and so for example if we come here under slips edges you can see that this edge element was included and also the material properties click on cancel so to get started here we can come in under model settings and when we decide to proceed with the multiplayer analysis we can just come here under the settings, there is this multiple analysis dialog and then we will first enable the two-dimensional analysis so we want to perform several uh, 2D limited equilibrium analysis in each of the planes okay so I included here the two-dimensional analysis uh, I'm also have the, the conversion settings here in this case I did a minor adjustment in terms of the minimal slide surface volume that we want to consider so this is done because the automatic search methods will sometimes find very small or shallow zip surfaces which are often well not not desired and this is it for this step I'll click OK and we can then see that we have a, indeed the multiple analysis option here so uh, at this point the, the existing search methods and 3D specific features of the model are disabled and the model is ready for defining the multiple analysis criteria. So the first step, uh, we have here the, this first dialog create delete referring to planes. So we are setting that the distance between new planes would be set as 125 meters. So every 125 minutes, meters we have a, a plane. And we, there are differences of uh, defining the planes in, in the model. The first option we will use is peak elevation. So we create planes along the slope at a chosen elevation. And based on these elevations, we then have uh, different numbers of planes. So if we pick, select peak elevation, we'll see that as we move our mouse on the CAD window, also this, this plane will change. So you can see here the location for this specific tutorial the point should be between 600 and 850 meters in the open pit so I'll pick here about this elevation you see that when you when we click we have all these models uh, set for us based on this elevation and all these quantity of planes okay we need now to make some clean up and adjustments on the plane so we can come here under slice data selecting all the modules that were generated and change the the search limits of each of the planes this is uh, important because sometimes the plane is to extend along areas that are not influential or important important on obtaining the sliding mass and may just influence on calculation time so we can define here decreased and the two and the distance uh, is referring to this middle point here that we set based on the elevation so nine meters to decrease 900 meters to, to the two is the the size of the plane so additionally we need to define for example under slice data the critical slip direction which means that we can set a certain orientation to the plane in this case, I can change the number of angle based on the tutorial to three. And you see that now we have uh, three planes of orientation for each of the um, original planes, actually. And then evaluate it based on the rotation defined here under this center point. If we 
come here under search method, we can switch to slope search, for example, and change the number of surfaces if required. We'll click OK, and now it's all set to run our model. When we start running the MPA analysis, you see a different uh, Plexus LE uh, solver, which refers directly to the MPA. Uh, the difference here is the parallel computation which means that we can burn several planes at once. So we can set the concurrency here, so uh, eight planes per time, and the software will run then for you. If you have more computational power in your computer, you can set this concurrency to a higher value if you want. So we can see that each of the planes, we can check the status, so finish, the progress in terms of percentage, the time, the run time for each of the planes, and the obtain critical uh, factor of safety related to each of these planes. In this case, we have 135 planes with, uh, with a considerable number of trials for each of the planes. Uh, so you can imagine the final result that is obtained here in terms of uh, potential sliding mass. Now we can click on visualize to inspect some of the results. You can observe here that uh, each of the planes uh, evaluated uh, an individual uh, limit equilibrium analysis which means that one plane won't influence in the other. And what we could also do here is, for example, change the counters referring to these planes. Now we just see red planes. But for example, if I right click, factor of safety counters, come here under contour levels and switch to about to the factor of safety you notice the changes of color. So it means that this these portion of the sidewall seems to be more secure in terms of higher factor of safety, even not even even though some of some of the factor of safety are not reaching uh, 1.5 for example. Uh, but actually this zone here as a next step we could easily export here under reports the MPA sliding masses to CSV, or we could uh, explode the, the sliding mass outside the model to check the geometry. But as we are handling a 2D case, we can also, for example, I want to investigate better this factor of safety here of 1.08. I can then double click the plane, and then multiple analysis model slices dialog will open up. And by clicking on Open Model, what will happen is that we'll be able to see this specific result of a 2D MP analysis in a representation of a 2D cross-section referring to the same model, right? So now we can investigate and, of course, if we want, get back here to the input and make the required changes to obtain a different analysis or more detailed in 2D. Okay, so if I close here, I don't want to make changes related to this plane. Let's say that I want now to see the contour map related to the 3D and check the difference between 2D and 3D results. So I can easily come here under Model, Settings, and just instead of enabling the 2 dimensional analysis, I will then work with the three-dimensional analysis. So in this case, in terms of the conversion settings, uh, we'll keep the same minimum slide surface volume as the 2D approach. Any further adjustment will be required. I'll click OK, and now we can solve our model. So in the same sense of using the 2D MPA solver, you notice that we have this uh, dialog here to keep up with each uh, each of the planes in terms of progress, status, and also the factor of safety. We we'll then cl click on visualize to check what will be the outputs of the 3D MPA. 
So as we can see here, uh, each of the planes will provide uh, 3D sliding mass. Uh, we can change here the contours. So click on factor safety contours, contours level. I'll change the maximum level to 2. And we can see uh, this red zone here and a portion of this one here that relate to the, the lower, lower values of factor of safety.